But I find it very hard to see how they can actually formulate or conceive the notion of um, an immaterial continuity of an unembodied self, of how it would know that it was, in fact, the thing that had once been mm. the embodied person with a particular name, with particular projects. It always seems to me that the the project, the notion of projects and trajectories and hopes and and plans and so forth are all tied up with uh, with being embodied. Oh yes, and I think that everybody cheats when they think about this. Um, I mean, in the way that that scientists cheat too when they imagine uh, hard to imagine things. So people, when they imagine an immaterial soul, they don't. They imagine a a, a sort of ghosty sort of uh, semi-transparent material object that that's got arms and legs and 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 a particular physical location but just isn't you know quite physical uh, it's sort of like a hologram and uh, uh, they know that that's not that's not right they know that well uh, you know a soul isn't really like that and they know they can't really imagine an immaterial disembodied soul but that's all right you know these things are hard to imagine and uh, you know physicists can't imagine quantum mechanics and we can't imagine an immaterial soul but you know we can try and it doesn't hurt to think about you know people playing harps sitting on clouds no i i uh often ask my students uh when they were children and reading comic books or when they were watching on television did it ever bother them that Casper the Friendly Ghost could both fly through a wall and catch a ball? I said, why doesn't the ball just <coughs> go right through his hand? And uh, almost all of them say, oh yes, they had noticed this mildly discomforting inconsistency, but everybody goes along with the gag. But everybody notices that this is not really consistent.